So, you know that secret Maple Donuts hideout badge that people have spent weeks looking for in Roblox Piggy, but never found? Yeah, I sort of found it. And in this video, well, ya boy gonna help you get it. First, let's debunk some rumors. Number one, there is no secret Maple Donut skin. Those videos were clickbait and a lie. Number two, the thing about the crack in the wall? What? Where did that even come from? And number three, you don't actually have to do this with anyone. You can find this badge playing any game mode in Piggy, and you can even do it solo. But geez, it ain't easy. If you do try to do it, use this vent to your advantage. Now what this secret badge actually corresponds to is the new Ready Player 2 event that is starting December 1st, where you have to play seven different games to get secret items and compete for a chance to win the grand prize. More info on this will come in a future video. For now, just think Ready Player 1 event, but bigger and better than before. Now, let's get back to the secret badge. Basically, you have to play the game as normal until you reach the five minute mark and that's where we in the biz called Hardcore Sweat Mode Time comes in. Before that though, you do have to do some setting up. Number one, play Piggy Book 2, Chapter 1, The Alleys. Number two, unlock all the items you need to get the mop and mop up the puddle of tears of the vanquished Piggy players outside the apartment, motel, whatever this building is, doors. Then, just, I don't know, keep yourself busy till the five minute mark comes. Watch one of my videos, subscribe to my channel, eat a taco, do all three, have a dance party. Just don't oof, because then you're a loser. Dang it. When the clock strikes five minutes, it's go time. Click on the middle door, make sure you have sound on, and listen for the knocks. The number of knocks is different for everyone, and every round is also different. Once you hear the number of knocks, somewhere between 1 and 10, head on over to the cafe and look alongside the side wall opposite the entrance by Doggy and find the dice by the bench. Then just click the die until the number of knocks show up. After that's done, go back to the door and listen again. If you did things correctly, you should hear other knocks. Sometimes they're the same number of knocks, and sometimes they're different. You'll need to head to the second location, which is in the corner of the laundry map, and click again until the die displays the number of knocks you heard. If you don't see a dice here, the first dice in the cafe has the wrong number on it, and you need to go back and correct it. If you did everything correctly though, and the second dice has the correct number on it, go back to the door and listen a third time for knocks. Once this is done, Head back to the laundry mat, but this time go to the safe, and that's where you'll find the final die. As before, click the die until the correct number shows up corresponding to the knocks you heard, and go back to the door. Once all the dice have the correct number, if you click on the door, you'll hear an unlock sound followed by some dialogue. The dialogue states that a kid left his VR machine inside and you need to retrieve it. Spoiler. VR machine is a lie. There is no VR machine. I didn't see it the whole time I was in there. Once you are in the building, you feel like you're in some kind of weird Indiana Jones movie. You find yourself in a temple with a timer still going down and you have to figure out puzzles before the ceiling turns you into a shiny quarter. First, you have to find the levers in the room and you have to push the levers until all of them are pushed towards the wall. Be careful as some of the levers are tied to each other and pushing them will actually push others too. Once you figure out the correct combination and all the levers are facing the same way towards the wall, a door will open up where you will find what looks to be like Ellie's son trapped on a platform. To free him, you must put out the four torches surrounding him by spam clicking the flames. Be careful as it is buggy here, but having a team with you to assist should help things move faster. Once the flames are out, head back to the levers and this time make sure all of them face the opposite way. It takes some work, but you should be able to do it. After this, a second door opens up and you have to run back into the room with a trapped elephant before the first door closes. If you make it through, go through the second door where the elephant will magically be free and follow you. Avoid the pitfalls and make your way to the room of buttons. This is where things get a little tricky. You should see the screen start to glitch as if you're upsetting the matrix 
And it's your job to find the buttons that have the number of lines as the code for your dice. So if you had to do the number one for the first dice, the number two for the second dice, and the number three for the third dice, your code is one, two, three. And you have to find the buttons with one line on it, press it, two lines on it, then press it, and finally, three lines and press it. That was just an example, and the code will be different for you. Whatever your code is, just look for those lines. Be careful though, as some of the bigger numbers do have some confusing line situation going on. Remember when I said things would get tricky? Well, if the lines were confusing enough and your time was running out with the ceiling slowly falling down on you, a bot piggy shows up and tries to also ruin your day. Did I mention doing this with friends is really helpful? If you mess up one of the lines and press the button wrong, or you press them in the wrong order, you have failed and you have to start over. Also, dude, don't die. If you do things correctly and press all three buttons in the correct order, the buttons will disappear into the wall and a final door will open. From here, all you need to do is walk out. Upon doing so, you'll get the secret badge and the elephant will thank you for saving him. And that's it. Oh, you also get some pretty swag items. You can now head over to your avatar editor and equip the new purple crown and purple robes. You can strut around any game, including the Ready Player 2 game lobby, and show the world how much of a king you really are for being awesome at Piggy. Congrats, you got to the end. You aren't scammed, you aren't clickbaited, you have achieved greatness. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out, and if it did, leave a like, as it really helps out the channel. And subscribe if you're new if you want to stay up to date on all things Piggy and Ready Player 2 event related. Thanks for watching. Carry on, gamers.